An air-to-surface missile, also known as air-to-ground missile, is a missile designed to be launched from military aircraft at targets on land or sea. There are also unpowered guided glide bombs, not considered missiles. The two most common propulsion systems for air-to-surface missiles are rocket motors, usually with shorter range and slower, longer-range jet engines. Some Soviet-designed air-to-surface missiles are powered by ramjets, giving them both long range and high speed. In this video today, we've selected the 10 best air-to-surface missiles in the world, so stay tuned and enjoy the video. Up first at number 10 is KH-58. The KH-58 anti-radiation missile was developed by Raduga State Machine Building Design Bureau to engage the radar infrastructure of Hawk, Nike Hercules, Patriot, and other surface-to-air missile systems. The supersonic missile features a passive radar homing head and an autonomy control system based on a platform-free navigation system. It can be launched from catapult launchers fitted to the external stations of modern aircraft such as MiG-35, Su-30MK, Su-32, and Su-35. The KH-58 missiles weigh 650 kg and carries a 149 kg high-explosive warhead to a maximum of 245 km. At number 9 is Standoff Missile. The Standoff Missile family, manufactured by Rocket Sun, includes SOMA, SOMB1, and SOMB2 missile variants, which can be launched by F 4 and F 16 fighter jets. The missile is in service with the Turkish Air Force and Azerbaijan Air Force. The SOMA and B1 versions deliver a 230-kg high-explosive blast fragmentation warhead, while the B2 version can carry a 230-kg tandem penetrator warhead. Each variant is guided by an image infrared seeker, as well as GPS, INS, terrain reference, and image-based navigation systems. The cruise missile is propelled by a turbojet engine, which ensures a high subsonic speed of Mach 0. It can engage heavily defended surface or mobile naval targets at a maximum range of 250 km. At number 8 is Storm Shadow. The Storm Shadow is a long-range deep strike missile designed by MBDA to meet the challenging needs of pre-programmed strikes against high-value fixed and mobile land-based targets. The combat-proven missile is deployed from Typhoon, Rafael, Mirage 2000 and Tornado aircraft fleet operated by six air forces. It uses guidance from GPS or INS and terrain reference navigation systems as well as an infrared imaging seeker and automatic target recognition to engage targets with minimal collateral damage. Powered by a turbojet engine, the Storm Shadow missile can carry a blast or penetrator warhead weighing up to 450 kilograms. It is capable of attacking targets at a maximum distance of 250 kilometers. Number 7 is KH-35UE. The KH-35UE air-to-surface or anti-ship missile is a modern variant of the KH-35E air-launched missile. It is in service with the Russian Navy, Indian Navy, and the Vietnamese People's Navy. The high subsonic missile offers improved performance and range than its predecessor. It is guided by inertial and satellite navigation systems as well as an active passive radar seeker, which ensures better accuracy and resistance against jamming. The advanced seeker further offers a 50km lock-on range compared with the 20km of the KH-35E. Fitted with a 145kg high-explosive fragmentation penetrator warhead, the KH-35UE missile is available in aircraft and helicopter-launched versions, which can strike targets within the range of 260 km. At number 6 is KH-59MK2. This is an extended-range air-to-surface missile, which is a variant of the KAH-59MTV guided air launch missile developed by Raduga State Engineering Design Bureau of Russia. It can be integrated with MiG-35, Su-30MK, Su-32, Su-35, and Su-24M aircraft. The missile is guided by an active radar seeker to engage radar contrast surface targets at a maximum range of 285 km during day or night in adverse weather conditions. It weighs 930 kg at launch and delivers a 320 kg penetrating warhead. Powered by a solid-fuel rocket motor and a turbofan engine, the KH-59MK missile can travel at a maximum speed of 1,050 km per hour. 
At number five is RBS-15. The RBS-15 is a long-range air-to-surface anti-ship missile developed by SAP. The latest variant of the missile RBS-15 MK4 is available in air-launched, ship-launched, and land-based platform launch configurations. The missile measures 4.35 meters long and weighs 810 kilograms with boosters. It is equipped with active radar seeker to engage maneuvering ships at sea and stationary land targets. The subsonic missile uses INS and anti-jam navigation to engage targets at a maximum range of 300 kilometers. The RBS-15 missile carries a 200-kilogram high-explosive blast and pre-fragmented warhead. Powered by a turbojet engine, the missile can engage targets in adverse weather and cluttered environments. Number 4 is BrahMos Air-Launched Missile The BrahMos Air-Launched Missile forms a part of the BrahMos medium-range ramjet supersonic cruise missile family developed by BrahMos Aerospace, a joint venture of the NPO, Mansion Australiania of Russia and Defense Research and Development Organization of India. The Indian Air Force test-fired the missile for the first time from a Sukhoi-30 MKI fighter aircraft in November 2017. The BrahMos air launch configuration employs an inertial navigation system, active radar homing, and GPS satellite guidance systems. Powered by a solid fuel rocket booster and a liquid-fueled ramjet engine, the supersonic missile delivers a conventional warhead weighing up to 300 kilograms for a maximum range of 300 kilometers. At number 3 is Taurus KEPD. The Taurus KEPD-350 is a modern, high-precision modular standoff missile system offered by Taurus Systems, a joint venture of LFK and SAM Dynamics. It is in service with the German, Spanish, and Republic of Korea Air Forces. The missile carries a 481kg dual-stage warhead to destroy stationary and semi-stationary targets in all weather conditions. Powered by a high-thrust turbofan engine, the KEPD-350 offers high maneuverability at low and high subsonic speeds. The air launch cruise missile is guided by a combination of GPS or INS with terrain reference and image-based navigation to engage strongly hardened and high-value point and area targets within a range of 500 km. At number 2 is the Long Range Anti Ship Missile. This is a new generation anti ship standoff missile based on the combat proven JASSMER missile. Lockheed Martin is offering the LRASM in air and surface launch configurations. The subsonic missile employs semi autonomous guidance and multi mode electro optical seeker. It carries a 450kg penetrating blast fragmentation warhead to a maximum range of 555 km. The LRASM can penetrate advanced integrated air defense systems while its long range ensures the engagement of hostile targets that are beyond the reach of direct counterfire weapons. At number 1 is JASSMER. The joint air-to-surface standoff missile extended range was developed by Lockheed Martin primarily for the U.S. Defense Forces. The missile is currently in service with the U.S. Air Force, Royal Australian Air Force, Finnish Air Force, and Polish Air Force. The long-range air-to-surface missile uses infrared seeker and digital anti-jam GPS inertial measurement unit guidance to engage high-value, well-fortified, stationary, and mobile targets in highly defended environments. The JASSMER weighs approximately 1,000 kg and can carry 450 kg blast fragmentation warhead. It can engage targets at a maximum distance of 926 km with pinpoint accuracy. The missile is compatible with B-1B, B-52, F-16, and F-15E aircraft. And with that, we're writing up the video for today, but don't forget to stay tuned for more videos from our channel. Thank you guys for viewing in. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.